Welcome back to Resident Evil 4 VR. We're continuing Leon's big motion sickness adventure. Or at least he had some motion sickness at the end of the last time after, uh, after the fishing trip. But hopefully that'll be gone as we begin here. Uh, now I'm actually using a different method for recording this time around. Uh, this hopefully should correct the fisheye effect that was in the previous videos. This method of recording does bring its own particular problems as well, but we'll see if this turns out better. We're going to load save. And, well, no kissing allowed, but why, why is no kissing allowed? Well, I already did the next level, but because of issues with the recording, we do have to do that over again. So we're going to go back to motion sick. We're going to play that, and we're going to find out why there's no kissing for Leon in this coming chapter. Let's load. Yeah, we've all woken up like that before. Hunnigan's on the phone. Leon, it's been six hours since our last transmission. I was starting to get worried. I started to feel dizzy, and then I guess I must have lost consciousness. Lost consciousness? Maybe that has some connection to what the village chief was talking about. Hmm, can't say. But I'm all right now. I'm going to continue my mission. All right, it's been six hours since the Del Lago fight. Leon's just been f asleep here in this cabin. And what could what could be happening in the outside world? Well, it's raining, and uh, night has fallen. It was daytime, not anymore. Oh, the inventory's full. But I do want that flash grenade. I suppose that does mean I probably do need to combine some green herbs. You get a little bit more space here. Um, I could also, like, do that with the eggs. Just to get a tiny bit more space. But every little bit counts. There we go. Hand flash stun grenade. I mean, that it, this one does actually stun. Unlike the incendiary, which uh, does a lot more than stun. There's a note here. Public notice. And I mean, as usually, we can't actually read it. We gotta go to the subscreen, read this text. It's not actually a public notice. It's a personal letter to Leon. There's an important item hidden in the falls. If you're able to get it, you might be able to get Ashley out of the church. But I'll warn you, the route to the church isn't a walk in the park by any means. They've deployed what's called an El Gigante, so God bless. About what's been going on in your body, if I could help you, I would. But unfortunately, it's beyond my power. An anonymous letter. Well, as far as it being anonymous, there are really only two people that this could be from. Either Lewis or the mysterious woman in red. Who could she be? Let's step on outside. Mm hmm. It's raining. So there's the boat that we took to get here. There, there are plenty of fish in the, in the lake. I guess we could go fishing if we wanted to, but... Like, we got a job to do, you know? We got to save Ashley. We went to the church, it was locked, but that letter says that there's a waterfall up ahead, and we can go through that waterfall to get into the church. To waterfall. You hate to see that. Oh, 
Got some gold bars. Gold 999.9. Salazar. Uh, private. Net weight 300 grams. So at this point, uh, getting he popping heads, not necessarily a death at this point. Like previously, it meant that the Ganados were going down, but now, if the heads pop, we might get a nasty surprise. Also, now we're getting an indication that maybe these people are not really people. Maybe they used to be, but maybe they've been infected with some kind of biohazard. You might call it. But here's the waterfall. There's like a structure that's built down there. Oh. Hey. Hold on. Num, 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 num. No, not an egg. Knife. You know, sometimes you might notice that the knife doesn't really register uh, when I hit something. That's because it's looking, f it seems like it's looking for a swing of a certain distance and velocity. Like if I just poke with it, that's not gonna work. It, there has to be a certain distance on the swing and a certain velocity to register as a real hit. Now in the original game, when Leon uses the knife, he does like a real big swing, it's like, this that just like swings his arm like that um kind of a dangerous thing to do in vr there you know your hand might slam into something so figuring out what like the shortest distance is to register a hit is uh that's pretty useful to, to figure out all right how does leon get across this raging river well the thing that leon really does is more than anything else, is he interacts with the world with a gun. He doesn't just use it to shoot people, but it's like a tool with which he can make things happen. For instance, oh, there's like a shiny thing up there. I wonder what that is. Amber ring. I uh, can't get it on Leon's finger. The current is too strong. Seems to be a path on the other side, though. Got to figure out a way to calm down the waterfall. Remember that episode of The Simpsons where, like, Homer opens a bottle of beer by shooting the cap off? I, I, that just came to mind for some reason. Who can say why? But we do have more boxes here. I do like that sound effect. Ding. It just, it sounds inappropriate. Jumping across, here we go. All right, on the other side. Mysterious lever. But when presented with a mysterious lever, what else is Leon going to do but pull it? All right, waterfall has been blocked. The cave has been exposed. Let's head on over. But uh-oh, it's boys coming from two directions. But fortunately, as we know, these boys have a bad sense of balance.
Well, that boy is keeping his balance. Maybe he needs to jump onto the next one. There he goes. Everyone's taking a bath. Nice and clean. I've obtained an object that resembles occult group's insignia. Wonderful, Leon. Head back to the church. Ashley's safety is our immediate priority. All right, well, we did see a big round hole, depression, in the church door. And now we got a big round insignia. We're disturbing some bats. Well, we're just getting on this boat and we're heading back. Time to backtrack to where we came from. And I guess while we're here, we might as well sell some treasures that we have. Got a selection of good things on sale. What are you selling? Maybe I have a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Like, for example, ooh, look at this fancy pipe. There's a detailed engraving on this pipe. Let's hope it's worth something. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Well, he thinks it's worth something. And this pretty amber ring. He has no comment on the amber ring. He'll buy it, though. <laughs> Thank you. Yep, I just came by to, to sell those. I guess I could have just done that another time, but hey, why not? Alright, so like I said, we're heading back the way we came, to the church. And since we killed off all the enemies on the way here, I mean, that means there's no one, there, no one is going to be in our way on the way back, right? That's how it works. The biggest of boys has arrived. El Gigante has shown up to stop us from getting get stop us from getting back. He hates these little shacks. Don't try to th don't think about hiding in one. Hey, it's that dog. All right. Our reward for helping the dog earlier in the game. He'll run interference for us in this fight. I'm glad that they they did 
do that in first person as opposed to a cutscene. to grab my gun, ended up pulling up a box of pesetas. In a way, I kind of wish they made you duck the tree manually, like with your real body. I understand why they did it, but on the same time, I kind of wish it was an option, but anyway. The boy has been defeated. Unfortunately, the dog does not stick around for pets. He was carrying many gold bars. I think his, eye his eyes are moving a little bit. Well, maybe not anymore. I do think that uh, El Gigante has one of the best boss intros in one of these games. As... He just, uh, as he's being pulled out by his handlers and then proceeds to just kill them all. It's a very intimidating intro. Oh, out of space. Got a couple of herbs that I really should be taking with me, though. Well, actually, I could, I could go with an egg. Yeah, I could, I could use some. Mmm, num, 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 num. Free little space that way. And, uh, combine these two. And combine those. Look. There we go. All right, well. With El Gigante out of the way, surely there's nothing else stopping Leon from making it back to the church. And there's the church right there. One thing that's always a good crowd pleaser in VR is when they make you look up at something. Like in this case, an enemy. The fact that he is such a big boy uh, is an impressive thing in VR. To have to like physically look up to actually, you know, see him. To actually take a look at him. See him attacking. And to shoot him in the head. However, we're almost back at the church, but there is something in the way. Let's see if we can get a better look at that. Let's go with our rifle. So a pair of glowing eyes are looking at us. Oh, I got dogged. Push the dog off. Uh, 
Hold on. Hold on, dogs. Hold on. I just need to eat a nutritious egg. Oh, no. They interrupted my egg meal. I'm dead. Wow. The dogs can get you. They're very fast and brutal. Where's the checkpoint on that, by the way? Okay, it is right here. So not that big of a deal. Uh, my health is in the green. As we start off here. Got to be a bit more careful with these dogs. Shotgun solved the dog problem. And we have the solution to the door problem. It won't open. There's a round hole. Maybe something fits here. Maybe something like this enormous insignia that we're carrying. You don't realize how big this is until you see it in VR. Uh, put it in there and go inside. And here we are in the church. But it doesn't seem like anyone else is here. This insignia is everywhere. I wonder if it's a religion from this region. All rise. It's not a very big church, is it? I don't think you could fit the whole village in here for service. Like maybe you could, I guess you could put some people up there on the second floor, but still. It's going to be a packed house. You really do need a bigger church, considering the population here. I mean, considering we have not seen the entire population of this village, there's still plenty more people. Well, let's check out the second floor. Well, there is a door behind these bars, barred on both sides. So clearly they don't want Leon going in there, but it's not a problem for Leon S. Kennedy, super agent. They never considered that. They never considered Leon swinging on a chandelier. Oh, I can't get that. Well, I do want an incendiary. Anything I can do about that. Yeah, got a one, now I freed up a, a double space. There we go. All right, got a little, but a bit of a church puzzle here. You got what appears to be like, a, I don't know, some stained glass and three circles around it. Now they're lit up red, green, and blue. And we just have to figure out how you might rotate them to make the pattern in the middle. And that should be right. The bars are open. Now, I don't know, maybe they thought the the agent that would be coming to rescue Ashley, maybe they had some information that perhaps he was going to be colorblind. And possibly that's why they set up that puzzle. Maybe their information was wrong, though. Anyway, here's the door that they've been trying to keep us from going into. Ashley. Don't come! Hey, take it easy. No! Get away! Calm 
calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the President's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. Alright. Here's Ashley. We found her. Let's uh, tell Hunnigan. It's Leon. I've succeeded in extricating my subject. You see her? Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over right away. Where's the extraction point? There's another trail that you can take to get out of the village. The chopper will pick you up beyond there. Got it. I'm on my way. All right. Well, the game is almost over then because we found Ashley. The chopper's coming to pick us up. We're going to go to the extraction point. Nothing could go wrong here. All right. So here's Ashley. Um, yeah, I think we're a little taller than her, but I'm pretty sure Leon is a, supposed to be significantly taller. I, I'm pretty sure. All right. So, I mentioned before that the file name that I saved after this was called No Kissing. Why is that? Well, it turns out Ashley has some advanced virtual reality tech that other characters don't have. Okay, so watch. We, we're going to go in for the kiss. This is how okay. This is how far I can actually stand stand to her now. But something strange happens. I can't seem to get closer than that. And the reason is that she's sliding across the floor as I do that. Like she's moving across the floor, sliding backwards when I get that close. So this makes me, this makes me wonder, was this, is this something that they put in just like as a, a thing to slide her out of the way when Leon has to go somewhere? Or was there a note from management specifically saying, you have to stop the player from kissing Ashley? Too many of the testers are kissing Ashley. Stop it. She stopped them from doing that. And so Ashley, whether inadvertently or not, I don't know which one, has anti-kiss tech. Such advancement I have not seen in VR before. The other characters don't have this. We were able to kiss the merchant. That was no problem. He did not have this technology. This is exclusive to Ashley. Also, another thing that I already knew of uh, going into this game, I already read. Here's Ashley. Here's my hand. Gonna do a magic trick. My hand's vanished. Ashley, can you believe it? Where did my hand go? It disappeared. Yes, your hands get too close to Ashley, they vanish. Clearly, the directive was... Don't let the player touch Ashley. We don't want YouTube videos of people touching Ashley. Figure out a way to stop them from touching Ashley. And so, here we go. Ashley has a force field around her. Uh, that disintegrates anything that touches. Well, I mean, only us. The enemies will still be able to grab her. But that is what is going on with Ashley. There is to be no kissing where Ashley is concerned. I hit my, hit my headset. When I pulled my hand back for the knife, I went tap, hit my headset. Ashley, of course, ducks if she's in range of a weapon. Like that. Which was always one of the good things about Ashley compared to many other escort quest characters. She will get out of the way if you're, like, shooting in a, in a direction. I mean, you can shoot her. Like, we, we can kill her. You don't, you don't want to because it's game over, but we'd be a bad agent if we did that. Man, I really don't think I have anything left. Uh, okay, let's use green and yellow combined. Oh, we could also increase her max health, but... Does anyone do that? Ashley, does anyone ever increase your health? I've never seen anyone do that. Oh, by the way, you want an egg? Have they have they been feeding you? No? Okay. Just wanted to see if she was hungry. Let's go. <laughs> Ashley will slam open doors as she advances. So in the original game, Ashley travels right behind Leon, so you can see her 
in the in the regular camera view. She's it seems like she's a little further away in the VR. She does keep a further distance. So she's not right on you. Now, I know what you filth brains are thinking. Absolute dirty minds want me to look up right now as Ashley's standing up there. Well, um, I, I, I'll give you filthy minds what you're looking for. There you go. She does. She is prepared for that. I mean, she. I believe she would do that in the original game if you used the. Uh, if you looked at her with the scope. Yeah. Now, it's, if you look up, she will do that. Uh, they tr cut to a cutscene when you catch Ashley. I kind of wish they made you do it in VR, but I guess if they gave you that option, you'd also have the option of just dropping her. And I guess we're not doing that. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine religious community. What do you want? To demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. No longer will the United States think they can police the world forever. So, we kidnap the president's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her back. No. Leon, I think they shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? We just planted her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> but before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith and money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift. When I was unconscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your minds. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. You okay? Leon, what's gonna happen to us? Don't worry. We got into this mess, we can get out of it. I'll disagree with Leon's assessment there. It's entirely possible to get into a mess that you cannot get out of. But we have gotten to the end of chapter 2-1, going into 2-2. Hit ratio 93%, enemies killed 14, number of times killed 1 by some dogs. Um, yeah, so now the mission has changed because we have found our target, we have found Ashley, and we are now escorting her to the pickup place. That's not a professional term for it. The the recon the the, the, the the point? The recon not recon, that's like reconnaissance is before the mission. The place where the helicopter will come pick us up. But like pretend I'm saying that in like tactical language. Well, that's not really important. What is important is that there's no kissing. No, no, no. No kissing on this mission, Leon. Well, I mean, you can kiss the merchant. Um, you can kiss the Ganados. We'll probably try to kiss some Plagas, though that's some dangerous kissing. But Ashley, mm -mm -mm, no, none of that. So we are going to overwrite that. It's going to be, um, yeah, we're going to overwrite it. We finished chapter 2-1. We're going into two... Oh, yes, and we also met the villain of the game, the, the real big cheese, uh, Sadler, who just 
tells Leon and Ashley his plan. Just says it out loud. And, um... Really, it sounds like the only reason he's not just letting Leon take Ashley back home is that he wants to extort some money from the president. Because his plan is for Ashley to eventually return home infected with the parasite. Um, Leon would be bringing her home, but Sadler wants that. I can't make the... I can't make, like, the money sign with this virtual hand, like the thumb and the index finger rubbing together. I really have no way of doing that, but pretend I'm making that symbol right now for the money. That's what he's looking for. Um, and so he's got to he's gotta take down Leon and get Ashley back so he can get the money. We'll find out if he succeeds next time as we continue. Resident Evil 4 VR. Yeah. 